In today's video, I'm bringing you five facts about Scapegoat, coming up. What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 414YGO. In today's video, five facts about Scapegoat. And hey, if you're new here, why not join the 414 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. Today's video covers Joey Wheeler's lifeline, the spell card Scapegoat. This card has saved his ass on many occasions and has solidified its status as one of the most nostalgic cards in the game. Well, for me anyway. But Scapegoat is a quick play spell card. Its effect is that you can special summon four sheep tokens that have a beast attribute, they're an earth type, they're level one with an attack and defense of zero, and they are special summoned in defense position. They cannot be attributed for attribute summon, and you cannot summon other monsters the turn you activate this card, but you can normal set. And remember, facts are fun with friends, so share this video with a friend who loves Yu-Gi-Oh! But with that being said, here are the facts. Scapegoat has two counterparts, the first being Stray Lambs, which lets you summon lamb tokens, which can then be attributed for tribute summons instead of sheep tokens. The other is Scapegoat, and it's a zombie type flip monster, which summons black sheep tokens when flipped face up. Bonus fact on Scapegoat is that this card is the first zombie counterpart of a spell card. The sheep tokens in the card's artwork also appear in the artworks of the following cards, Token Thanksgiving, Token Festival, Token Sunday, Token Stampede, Tornado, Sealing Ceremony of Mokuton, and in the card White Magician Picaroo, we can see that she's wearing a white sheep token hat. And the artwork and design of the sheep tokens in the card, OCG and TCG artwork, are taken from the manga Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Duel 99, A Brave Gamble. Uh, it's from the panel showing four sheep tokens being summoned by this card. Also, all sheep token card artwork shown them exactly as they appear in the card's OCG and TCG artwork, except for the pink version, which is rotated. Scapegoat was first released in 2003 in the Joey Wheeler starter deck, and when this card was released, it was completely redrawn compared to its first Japanese anime artwork. The second Japanese anime in English dub used the OCG and TCG artwork. And finally, a bit of history into the term scapegoat, which allows us to understand why this card artwork was chosen for this card. A scapegoat is a term used to refer to an innocent person who is unjustly blamed for a wrongdoing or unjustly punished. The term originated from the Jewish custom of sacrificing a goat. These goats were said to represent the sins of the people, and they were sacrificed by driving them off into the wilderness as part of the ceremonies of Yom Kippur. But thanks for watching, this was my video, 5 facts about Scapegoat. If you want more Yu-Gi-Oh fact videos, character deck profiles, duels and more, hit that subscribe button right now. And if you found value in today's content, don't forget to smash the like button, of course share the video with a friend, or leave me a comment in the section below. I'm also on social media, so let's connect over there. But once again, thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next video, take care.